President Barack Obama taking to the airwaves this weekend to pitch his economic recovery plan. He wants you, the American people, to know what's in store. The price tag, it's up a little bit, now $825 billion. And in his first weekly radio address, also on the Internet, the president said the plan will lower electricity costs, protect us from losing health care, and boost employment, the number now up to an estimated 4 million jobs. How tough will it be for GOP leaders to get on board for his plan? Let's ask Bob Beckel. He's a former Mondale campaign manager, Fox News contributor. You know him well. Mm -hmm. And Jay Townsend is a Republican campaign manager who handled Pat Buchanan's presidential campaign. Gentlemen, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Jay. Let me How start you? with you, Pat, and ask you. We have a little more detail now. The dollar amount is up to $820 billion, billions, trillions. Who knows? It could reach more than a trillion. And as many as 4 million jobs. If you're out of work, that sounds pretty good right now. My question is, can we afford this? You're talking to me yes. or Bob? No, I was talking to you. Okay. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> My answer, the devil is in the details, and Obama, certainly with his address yesterday, is going to talk about what the focus group said would, were the most popular aspects of the bill. When it comes out of Congress, the proof will be in the pudding. And I think I remember the lesson that Bill Clinton learned, and who still talks about that, that the worst mistake he made during his first term in these early days was turning the stimulus bill over to the United States Congress and the Democrats in Congress instead of including the Republicans. I think Obama needs a bipartisan bill. He needs Republican votes on this bill, and he's going to need to put some tax cuts in it to get it passed that way. The last thing he wants is for this to be a Democratic bill. They'll fill it full of pork that is indefensible, as did the Congress in 1993. All right, well, Bob, th the president can probably get this plan through with just the Democratic support that he has. Why is it important that he have the support of the GOP? Well, I mean, Jay's right. I think it is important when you're spending this much money that you have a bipartisan support. But let's put this in a little bit of context. Let's remember Obama inherited this mess from eight years of Republican administration, six of those years a Republican Congress. And he is now trying to get us, out, get us out of this. And in order to do that, you need to do massive outlays in order to get people back to work and get projects done that need to get done in any event. I mean, this is not, you know, Republicans, some of them are saying, oh, more bridges to nowhere. Well, this is not bridges to nowhere. This is repair bridges that are going somewhere and we've got to do that he's talking about doing infrastructure that is absolutely essential he's talking about the grid he's talking about weatherizing buildings is going to save us billions of dollars all this stuff needs to get done do you so think why we not can do it now it though, right now oh absolutely you can't afford not to I mean because if you keep putting people out of work at half a million a uh, month as we've seen then the tax revenues are going to be that much lower and you're going to it's going to get worse i mean yes so the answer is absolutely we can afford it okay. Let, let's let's address that uh, there are two aspects to this bill uh... spending money on uh, electric grids more broadband certain highway projects does have a long-term economic benefit but it's going to be months if not years before the economy feels the effect of that stimulus if you want an immediate impact, what you have to do is give more revenue to the people in the private sector who are keeping people employed, who know how to grow the economy, who know how to grow with businesses, who are actually in a position to hire more employees. The private sector will do that and get it done much more quickly than any government bureaucracy. But, Jay, let me ask you, uh, one person uh, who has been very vocal about this is John Boehner, and he says that in order for this plan, as it's outlined right now, to go through, it will cost a whopping $275,000, he says, whopping, in taxpayer dollars, and every household will take on $6,700 of additional debt. So who's right and who wins? <laughs> I don't doubt his number, so you do have to be careful about how much you're spending here. And my fear is that this Democratic Congress is going to view this crisis as a license to run the spending up over a trillion dollars or to 1.2. It will spiral out of control unless he includes the GOP in the negotiations who will help keep the spending bill under control. Bob, before I That's let you go, can I just ask you if the oversight issue is uh, in place? Because there's a lot of concern on taxpayers who are paying on whether or not there'll be oversight that the money actually goes to these very interesting things that we talked about. 
Yeah, let, but for, for, let me just say one thing. I happen to like John Boehner, but he's full of hot air. I mean, anybody can take a budget and divide it in the number of people, and you're going to get divide the budget of the United States, and so everybody's half a trillion, or half a million dollars in debt. So, I mean, that's a ridiculous way to argue this. The fact is, he is meeting. Obama is meeting with Republicans. He has included Republican tax cuts that they want. A third of this whole 825 is tax cuts, Jay. And the fact of the matter is, when you talk about the private sector, you want to turn it over to this private sector? They've done a wonderful job keeping people at work and creating jobs haven't they they've All done right. a wonderful job of mismanaging the economy because they've been unfettered and unregulated and when you do that you see the price we're paying for it now I hope we'll learn from that as well uh, I, I know Jay would like to respond but Jay I I'm would. sorry I'm told that we're out of time <laughs> but uh, uh, good we could use our imagination on that Let's one and we'd love to have France, you back Bob. I'm sorry that I called you Pat but I had this vision of Pat Buchanan uh, in my head nice to see <laughs> okay. both of you Bob always a pleasure have Thanks. a great day I appreciate it a Fox News alert. Is there an arsonist on the loose outside of Philadelphia? Coachville, Pennsylvania.